Hello, my name is Jason Cleaver. I'm an English teacher at Canyon Ridge High School, and I'm also an education technologist. My administrator recently came to me and asked if I'd put together a video explaining how to move towards teaching through technology. So here's my short video on teaching through technology. I've had the privilege of working in one-to-one -one environments for many years. I've had classes with iPods, with iPads, and with Chromebooks for the last six months. And I've learned one thing. There really is a difference between just teaching with technology and teaching through technology. Teaching with technology tends to follow the traditional teacher-centered model, where information ideas flow in one direction as if the students are a server we want to store information in. Teaching with technology often looks at technology as simply a tool for delivery. However, teaching through technology has a bit of a different focus. This is a little scary for teachers who don't want to change things because it takes them out of the center, puts ideas and critical thinking at the center, and then places the teacher in a role more equal to the students. This frees them up to collaborate more with the students, to mentor, and to really facilitate the learning experience. But how do you begin to transform your classroom to teach through technology? That's the big question. Well, if you really focus on three key areas, it's a lot easier to get started. The first area to focus on is access. Students are no longer limited to information the teacher can bring and present. They can access so much more. Also, learning tools such as tutorials, videos, and practice opportunities abound online. Collaboration also allows marginalized voices to become part of the discussion, making it much more diverse. Adaptability is the next point. Content and learning materials can be adapted on the fly from lesson to lesson, moment to moment. Those student-driven aha moments become reciprocal teaching tools, and then differentiation and scaffolding now can really be adapted to each student's needs. The final area is assessment. Formative assessment can take the form of quizzes or polls, progress monitoring, collaborative documents, or digital portfolios. Summative assessment can be digital storytelling or online labs or media projects or live history maps. So many options to move away from traditional multiple choice assessments. So to begin teaching through technology, intentionally integrate technology into the areas of access, adaptability, and assessment within your classroom, creating an environment that is filled with creativity, engagement, and learning, even for the teacher. For a more detailed explanation of the process and the three steps, please visit my original blog, Three Steps to Technology Integration, at the following address. And thank you for your time. I look forward to seeing what you accomplish in your classroom and growing and sharing together in this process.